And good evening, welcome to Academy Live, and yes, you're right, we've got a model in the box, and uh, if you're not, for, she's there, can you say hello, Ella? She's waving, yeah. Um, basically, um, if you haven't seen what we, we've been shooting for years, is basically not only using the last light high, uh, the highlight as a backdrop, but use it as a light source, but we also use it for creative, um, and uh, again, whether we're photographing anything from a nude to a kind of a teen in the box. We even shot puppies in the box. Uh, we've had shot huge, huge kind of variety and things really, just a bit of fun. So we thought today we'd actually show you what's going on. So obviously you need a model. <laughs> She's in there as it were, yeah. And as far as the highlight, we've got the biggest of the highlights. This is the eight, eight by seven. She is in there, as you can see, yeah. We've got the eight, uh, the eight by seven. And then what I've done is I've got two lights. Um, just laying down on their sides, they're equal powered, uh, which will give us obviously the same exposure running throughout. <coughs> and what we're going to do is start with the horizontal photograph, and then we're going to stand. The <laughs> Excuse me, I just took a drink. Wait <coughs> to a sentence. Um, and then we're going to stand the box upright, and we're going to do some kind of obviously kind of uh, uh, stood up images and so on. So in fact, if you really like what you see and you want to actually see what we shot with Ella as far as the nude and other kind of models that we've shot in the box as well as kind of other kind of types as I mentioned, then obviously come over to the Photographer Academy. We're an online training company for photographers based on streaming video. Remember we're live, so get questions in uh, and we'll kind of answer as much as we can. We've got to finish by half, uh, half five because that's when um, Ella disappears. <laughs> so we've got to get this done. Right. 12 to 24 mil lens first. Um, so that's just on the camera. And we're five, we're, hello. We're firing both lights. Um, and let's kind of do our test shot first. So we are shooting to cap, capture one uh, via a tether tools uh, cable, as you can see here, yeah? Uh, and that basically feeds the RAW and the, J, uh, the JPEG file through. What you're only gonna see, though, is the JPEG file. That's what we set to actually kind of show. Um, Ella, let's, um, I've got no idea what we're gonna do because we already shot, shot, shot this now, so let's have a little look. Let me just check everything's coming through, which it is, great. Let's get you down that end with your feet. In fact, should we start down that end in an, almost a kneeling ball? That's great, yeah, love that, okay. Uh, clear the uh, hair away from the face a little bit. Cool, that's good, just there, that's good. And again, push this foot through, oh, I like that too, yeah? Can you lean forward more, right, right down the feet? It's great, just there. Okay, go into a um, kind of a little bit of an awkwardness now, that's lovely. Coming towards me, it's lovely. And again, excellent. Keep it. Let's lay on the back or roll onto your back. Just get going there. Can you move down that way just a touch, just a fraction for me? And then go on your back again. That's great. And again, keep it. Lovely. Try and push those feet up in the air. Push it. It's great. Roll to me just a touch. Love it. Don't look at me at all now. So do all faceless or look in a way. Faceless is a term when we kind of uh, pretty much hide uh, completely the client or the model's face. So we're not worried about hair in the way. Okay. Uh, and let's do laying on the back and stretching towards me, I think. That's, kind of, that's lovely. Love it. Just stretch me a little bit more, darling. Oh, I like that. Bit bendy with the... Uh, that's lovely. Keep it again. Let me just go to the super wide. Uh, I'm just going to shoot the... Um, I was using the 24 to 105 zoom. Uh, you're gonna use the 12 to 24. He says, looking for the dot. Okay, this is uh, really being used on more the 12, so it's that kind of super wide. Uh, let me just check it looks good. Yeah, let me just put it into color so people can see what the, to uh, the tonality is like. Quick test again. Oh, make sure the cake. Okay. Table's not in shot. Um, let me just check it. Yeah, that's good. Okay, let's do it, darling. Keep it, and again. Get awkward as much as you can. That's lovely. Let's do that fetus. You're almost in a fetus position there, I think. That's great. And open it up. That's lovely. 
great shot. Just coming up towards me a touch. Excellent, love it. Just crawling up to me now. Crawl more. Love it. God, it's a good job you're a dancer. Oh my God. Relax, Ella. Brilliant. Um, if I didn't say already, um, Ella Gray, uh, Ella Ray, sorry, is our model for the day. Uh, some great images there and things. Uh, we're going to cut the screen just while Ella gets out a minute because it's not going to be probably uh, very dignitary uh, the way she's going to have to get out. Uh, let me just change lens first before I forget. And then we'll cut to screen. Uh, that's brilliant. Ella, you can come out with uh, confidence. Um, great. I'm going to, once um, Ella's out, uh, we'll set this up for the first call. Thank you, darling. Absolutely brilliant. Right, so um, I'll do video guy's job first, of course. <laughs> he's going to now panic knowing he's got to put everything on stands and so on. But basically, we're going to go back to a two uh, light setup once more. Um, I mentioned that when we're shooting the vertical image, we still need the two lights. Uh, one is going to be coming in from the kind of the uh, position in the back. And then this one is going to be coming through the big highlight part of itself. Yeah? So we'll try and change the cam uh, camera angles for you as quick as we can. Um, Obviously, um, Academy is designed to kind of help you and stimulate you in ideas. Um, we're in our almost third, third, 13th year of production now, uh, as far as uh, how long the Academy's been going. Um, and we've always tried to kind of inspire members to just try something a little bit dif uh, different. Um, and if you've bought the likes of a, a background or a lens or, I don't know, a stand. Um, we really want to try and give ourselves some ver versatility of how we can use the, uh, the thing in a same way, okay? So uh, basically, um, the, high, uh, the highlight, which is, uh, we're using the biggest one today. It's the eight foot by seven foot. We've got a highlight in all sizes. Uh, we use them as window lights uh, as well as other things. Um, but this kind of gives us a, a real kind of a difference. Now, if you're familiar with our studio, let me just, I'll pan over to this side while um, Superboy is just finishing his setup. So the um, studio uh, today, we've been photographing loads and loads of stuff. That's why we're in kind of chaos. But we always like to do these live sessions for you um, because it gives you an idea of... Do you know what? Let's just have a go at that, yeah? If you don't set yourself a kind of uh, creative path, creative development at some stage, basically you're just going to shoot the same thing day in, day out. And especially if you're a pro photographer, I, I would say that invest some time in, into yourself and into your creativity, not just invest in time or money in, into equipment, okay? So um, if we were photographing over in the window like we were last week, if you watched us live last week, we built a Parisian small boutique hotel room light and it looked brilliant, okay? Um, but if uh, you haven't seen that, go and watch it on YouTube anyway or kind of over to the Academy if you're fed up of adverts and things. But um, as far as this is concerned, we just wanna give, uh, give you some ideas on what you can do to actually change your photography, right? Let's just go back and show you where we're at. Are we pretty much ready to go, Brandon? Yeah, I'll just cut the screen while he's busy there a minute and we'll get um, Ella into uh, the box again. Dee, dee, dee. I've lost my chair. There's my chair. Okay, she's in. You can cut back to, cab uh, to camera, please. So, sorry about the noise from my chair. Hello, you. Can I see Ella in a box, please? Yeah. And she can be bought anywhere uh, through uh, chocolates or... <laughs> right, uh, let's uh, go have a little look. So, um, quick test a minute. Relax. 
So let's have a little look on screen to see what it's like in case we need to change anything. It's bang on. The expo exposure's the same. We haven't changed anything else. If we were worried about over, um, overexposure and you prefer to do it in the post, then just push your aperture from, I'm, I'm working at F5, um, you, you could put it up just that third of a stop. If I want a bigger depth of field, remember that ISO game I keep tra uh, training you with. So in other words, if I want to move from F5 to say 7.1, 7 I'll just jump straight up to 200 ISO from 100 ISO, and that's a quick way for me to actually move a full stop. The Elinchrom lights, the ELC 500 uh, Pro or the, th uh, the thousand heads, in fact, all of the Elinchrom heads can be controlled by the trigger, so I can actually increase the power as well. So I've just done, done the ISO change. Quick test there a minute. Okay, so that's the ISO change going up to 7.1. And then if I go the ISO back down again, if I do exactly the same shot, this is 100 ISO, uh, exact, exactly the same again. Okay, so you can see... All, all I did was push the ISO 100, and that gave me a full stop. On the other hand, I can go group all, and I can go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And as long as the lights that I'm using have more power to give, they will just increase themselves by that stop, and you notice them flash on and off. Okay, let's, uh, let's have a bit of fun, shall we? Let me just do the quick test shot. Do you know what? I actually really like that black and white we just did. Let me just swap it and just... See how good it is on camera. If it's the same, one sec. Mm -hmm. Oh, let me just uh, five, six, one sec. I might go back to the color and do it in the post. Yeah, I will. Okay, let me just go back to the color image for you guys to see. Right, Ella, let's get going. So wonderful. Let's stretch with the back up this wall looking towards me. That's lovely. Again, uh, can you, oh, it's lovely. I like that. Keep it going. Ignore me. I know nothing. Excellent. Let's go into a sit, shall we, or a crouch or whatever it is and things really. Cool. Oh, <laughs> I love that. Who's a clever girl? Ex I didn't mean me. And I went very high pitched then. I've got no idea why. That's Love it. Go, go, go. Okay, let's um, turn square, a square on to me, and let's just go pushing out the uh, body to each side. Let me just double check the exposure. Just going to kind of lower it down to the touch. It's great. Okay, let's do it. Ready? Again. Love it. And let's go to some close-ups as well. We, we basically um, wanted to shoot just in laundry today. In fact, relax, Ella. Nice shot so far, Danny. We wanted to shoot just in laundry today, um, but everything that we were trying with was just a little bit too sheer, so we just added on the fur, uh, feathers. <laughs> oh! <laughs> was that you or me? I don't know. Um, but basically, we added on the feather collar and the feather skirt. Just, oh, that's my... <laughs> taking the photograph of my arm. Um, you better correct all your feathers while the camera's off you a minute. <laughs> um, but yeah, we, we added on the feather collar and the feather skirt just to kind of hide it because the, la the laundry is a little bit sheer and things really. So um, as far as the kind of the, uh, the idea behind, uh, behind it, if you're working in a very, very small space, even though um, there's quite a bit of work for manipulation to be done here for re retouching perhaps the zip or the corners, um, that it's still doing 95% of the job in the kind of the creative for us and things really, and in a very, very small space and things really. So um, let's just show you what group one is. So this is the one light. Let's just show you. Yep, this is the one coming on from the side. Yep, and then we show you what group four is, which is the backlight. So that is just coming through the kind of the zip uh, end and everything else with it. And, and even that is still pretty good, to be honest, uh, as far as the look and the feel to it. So let's just do a few shots. Um, avoid from looking at me because there's no light on me. You can look that way and things. Uh, let's go through stretching of the, uh, that's lovely, go. And again, leaning up against this wall for me. Excellent. And more, darling. Keep it. Love it. Yeah, please don't push it over. <laughs> Relax. Uh, let me just, let's uh, push in those through. So you can see the difference in the image though now. Um, we've got some great images. Let's um, still bend backwards. Yeah, that's lovely. Let's do a few. Keep, uh, one sec. 
Ready? Do it. Stretch the hands up the wall. Twist back to me, but don't look at me. Look towards the floor, whatever. Excellent, relax. Let's put both the lights back on again. Not too warm in there, are you? Perfect. Perfect. Oh my gosh. It's warmer than the normal studio, uh, studio in here, isn't yeah. it? I know, yeah, I'm sorry about that. Okay, let's quick test. Let me just check everything. D, 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 looks good. Okay, that's excellent. You can look towards me now. So let me just move a little bit. Keep it shoot horizontal as well. One more. Excellent. Relax, line. I mean, we could shoot forever. She's a great dad, a dancer. Anyway. Do you want to step on out? Are you okay? You're done. Um, wicked. Um, so as far as the kind of the uh, image variety is concerned, pretty much I'm static. I'm, I'm really not doing a huge amount. Ella is doing all of that work. So as far as the kind of the creativity, I felt that I should be on a wide angle lens uh, more than anything else to ensure that basically I was kind of creating more images uh, as we're going through. Are you cutting back to me? Um, so uh, um, that's Ella. Say hello again. <laughs> um, don't shake your feathers, you. Um, but yeah, as far as the kind of the look and the feel is concerned, pretty much uh, we had some great images. Is it hard because you're not seeing images when we're in, we're in the box? Um, it's, good. it's always good to have that feedback and know what it looks like, but then it inspires me to just do more creative images because you never know what the results What's going to be like with it and things, really? Yeah, you've got a lot of trust in the photographer. Lovely shot, seriously. And you can see with that backlight coming through, um, it's really good and I'm glad we used the feathers to actually hide all the bra because the bra is only shown in a few images in fact so we could shoot that anything great wicked um, okay so um, any questions there at all Brandon okay so we've got no questions coming through thanks for joining us live on the Academy uh, remember um, we're online every Thursday now so you were used to us on a Wednesday before <laughs> I do apologize but everything's uh, kind of live on a third Thursday with us. Uh, join us live at five. Uh, pretty much you can get your quest, uh, quest, questions in. We'll answer anything. We'll even try out ideas and things ready. Do you know what? Just before we finish though, let's add a little thing to the mix. Yeah? What are we going to do, Braddon? Any ideas? Ella, I need you back in that box, babe. Please. Uh, what are we going to do, Brandon? Uh, well, we did Super White Angle a little minute ago. What's the instant thing that we could do? Come on. Yeah, which my old trick is what? There you go, tungsten mode. Let's go blue. So we're back into Ice Maiden. Excellent, love that. Let me just push that light back just a fraction. It looks icy. Ooh, look at us. Okay, let's do it again. Love it. You are too good for me. Love it. Good girl. Turn the other way because the bra is showing on that side. That's lovely. Excellent. Do you reckon we can get wings on in there? Bran, can you get the wings? Okay. Let's go with the wings. We've got minutes. We're fine. This will be difficult trying to actually get, uh, get you in wings. I love it in the blue. Looks great. Yeah, come and have a look at the screen. That's lovely, I think. Yeah, I like it. Let's uh, try the. Cool, let's have a go, shall we? He could have got you bigger wings. Got that one? Hang on. Wait, wait, wait. There it is. Here, 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 here. You there? There we go. Right, get your wings right. Get it. Stop shaking your feathers. Don't fall in the box. Right, where are we? <laughs> I like that. I could wear this forever. Uh, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> it's a part of your new fashion range. Yeah, kind of thing. It's a little look. Let's go serious first. So now you are fallen angel. I'm Cupid, I got lost. Cupid. Cupid. <laughs> not... Okay, ready, let's do it. Okay. Nice. Watch the expression, it's lovely. Shoot with the backlight. 
One sec, let me just check it. Can't really see those wings as much as I want to. That's why I just swapped to there. You go, it's better. Oh, I like that. Do that. Keep it. Keep it again. And I think what I'll do is I'm going to stay, stay a minute. I'm just going to lower. Oh, I like it. Go down two, three stops, shall we? So I'm still going to shoot with both lights now. But I've just toned this one down by three stops. Let me just see what it's like first. Yeah, so it's giving me like a fill. Yeah, as you can see. Let's go one, two, three, four, five. And let's shoot all. Okay, let's go. Ready? One sec. Check it again. Okay, ready? I'm not. <laughs> See, let's do it. Go. Try and use legs up. Fight through. See, almost climbing the wall. Go. Love it. That's it. Twist to the other way so I've got less bra. Or turn the feathers around the other way. That's it. Keep it. Love it. Oh, don't I could shoot all day. Ella, you're amazing. Stop. Brilliant. Thank you, boys and girls. Absolutely brilliant for joining us live. Ella, you are a super girl, honestly. Um, any questions there at all, Brandon? One question. One question. Yay. <laughs> Look at her. I, I love you, honestly. I think they're fabulous. Uh, look, if uh, you didn't catch uh, our model's name, it's Ella Ray, uh, based in U UK, but she does travel all over the world, dance as well as uh, kind of modeling. Love it. It's cool, isn't it? I've got to add some feathers to your bra now, haven't I? <laughs> oh, well, it's retouching. Go, Brandon, question. You are done, thank you. Round of applause for Ella. She's shaking her feathers again. Behave yourself. Um, Thanks, Ella. Bye. The 8 by 7 highlight looks deeper than somebody's 6x7 highlight. Can they still shoot this type of shoot? Yeah, yeah. So can you still shoot in the 6x7 because it's slightly thinner than the 8x7? The, an the answer is yes. It's probably only about that much. Uh, obviously, if you try to get me in the box, anything's going to... Anything's going to look tight, yeah? Um, but uh, when you've got uh, the likes of uh, a model or a dad's uh, tiny teen or kind of uh, whatever, then you won't have any trouble at all. And you, and you saw that Ella, no matter what we were doing, was kind of pushing up and down, kind of giving us those kind of shapes and things really. But no, no problem. Great. Thanks for joining us live. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed another Academy. Uh, and we're trying to bring you kind of little, uh, different kind of concepts uh, at the end of each week now so you can kind of uh, use your weekends for a little bit more fun and remember if you're a photographer academy member you can enter images into our twice a month photo critiques where we're kind of looking at your images plus we also get to actually look at some of these uh, remember as a photographer academy med a member as well you can kind of go and view the films that we create 24 7 uh, they're ad free as well uh, on our own web a website with it plus you all you also get loads of things like our monthly or bi monthly magazine there's apps there's guides uh, and kind of as much as we can to help and things but we've got over 3,000 films over there for you to go and watch including very very soon as we'll nag Brad uh, Brandon now to actually get the uh, model in the box uh, the nude version uh, actually on the academy but we've all, we've already got a few of those actually on the academy now thanks for joining me see you all soon take care bye-bye